Hi everyone and welcome back to Stitchy B. I'm Cheryl Temple and last week I mentioned to you that because I'm going on holiday um, tomorrow actually I uh, said I'd get another quick make in and I have. So um, unlike most people who should be organising, getting packed and having a wind down for their holiday, not me, I thought I'd take on the task of sewing a dress this morning, <coughs> excuse me, and uh, it took me about two hours. This is, this is it. It's actually a hack of the True Bias Ogden cami that I made last week, um, the pattern I made last week. Completely different fabric, but you know me, I like my florals, I love my crepe and I've heard that where I'm going in Greece is going to be 40 degrees this weekend so I thought I need something really super cool and this is a very fine crepe I'll let you have a quick look so it's the basic Ogden pattern which is lovely lovely straps I know it's not that very bra friendly um, but if you get a good um, strapless bra it's fantastic I avoided these kind of tops for ages because I never could find a good bra um, so probably Marks and Spencers or somewhere like that's best for you have a look so okay what I did was this is the pattern uh, so the standard cami pattern ends there so I thought I'll just lengthen it. Now, if you do this, be careful because it says lengthen or shorten here. Now that's for the top version. If you did that for the dress version, it might not be wide enough at the hip. So I looked at the lines and I measured this distance from here to here. And then that's obviously half of the distance of the top. So if you then double it and then double it again, then you'll work out the finished um, hip size. So you can see here to here, I think it was about 12 inches, I think, something like that. So I worked out that there was plenty of ease around the hip area because I didn't want anything tight um, for the warm weather. And then, to be honest, I'm not very scientific, I guessed at the length. So I worked out where the waist was, which is pretty much just, just here. And then I made it longer than I needed so that I could always chop off more so this is the finished length um, and it's just probably slightly above the knee um, it does rise slightly at the front because of the bust area but I quite like that effect but if you had more time um, just be careful about making the front hem may be slightly longer rather than just cutting it straight and then hemming because the bust will lift up the front so but I kind of like that especially from the Eve dress last week it's it's quite nice so this is a really fine crepe really super cool um, you could wear this in the day or evenings um, so yeah I'm really pleased with that and um, what else did I do no other alterations at all to turn it into a dress literally just follow the lines the way I did that was this is a pattern master um, so any ruler you could do so what I did was you kind of follow the line and just keep going and keep going to keep it on that edge I know I'm probably not doing a very good um, explanation of it here but just keep it going and you'll see it, it splays out slightly and that's what gives it the slight drape at the bottom which I think is quite nice plenty of room to move no need for a slit um, and yeah, I just finished the hem as usual with a tiny, um, tiny turned hem. Some fabrics fabrics are easier than others um, to do that with. And um, this one was more difficult than the last top I made. So, and it's not made easy by the fact I'm trying to rush it. But there you go. <laughs> Take your time. Don't be like me and leave no time at all before you do these things. So yeah, a couple of hours start to finish because I'd already got the pattern fairly much cut out so yeah have a go but if even if you don't do the dress the cami's amazing and um, the little straps are great um yeah really nice really flattering neckline and a little v at the back as well so i'm hoping that'll keep me cool um anyway i better go because i've got about 22 kilos worth of luggage to fit into 20 so i need to go and edit some stuff um and i'm off to the airport this evening so 
if I don't reply, then you know why, it's because I'm sat on a beach somewhere. If um, if I do, then that's great if I get access to Wi-Fi. Uh, thank you for all your comments. I do like to reply to every one of you, so I really appreciate it. Thank you. And I will see you when I'm back. I haven't forgotten about me wanting to talk about the free patterns that I've been collecting from magazines. I've got a little stash of them now and I'll be turning some of those into to clothes quite soon. So we'll have a chat about that when we get back. Okay, have a really good week and I hope to see you next time. Take care, bye.